I turn on the television and flip the channels. Every channel is the news. I turn past channel two, but something catches my eyes. I turn the knob back. Although the channel does not come in clear and the sound is distorted, there is no mistaking the face reporting the news is that of an Asian woman. I cannot see her full name, but can make out the word Chung. To my surprise, she is Chinese. I am more fascinated by the features of her face than what she is saying. Her teeth are perfect and her lipstick a vibrant shade of red. Her sultry voice and how she moves her head are graceful. Her skin is smooth and flawless. Her nose high and regal. Her bone structure immaculate. She is on screen for only a minute before the camera switches to footage of another Asian woman. I gasp, Yoko Ono. The news is talking about Yoko Ono and John Lennon. I strain to listen, but the report is unclear. Words of dead and age 40 assault my eyes and ears. Oops. I change the channel to find better reception. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report from NBC News. Late last night, former Beatles member John Lennon died at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital from gunshot wounds to the chest. One police officer says they are treating this case as seriously as the assassination of John F. Kennedy. New York City's chief of detectives, James T. Sullivan, surveyed the scene and interviewed the witnesses, as well as the officers who responded to the call. The gunman had been identified as Mark David Chapman from Hawaii, whom one witness said had been lurking outside Lennon's New York City apartment. Another witness said she saw Chapman approach Lennon for an autograph yesterday morning. Lennon and his wife, Yoko Ono, were on their way back from the studio late last night, where they were recording a track for their new album, Double Fantasy. When their limo pulled up to the Dakotas building on the Upper West Side, a gunman came from the shadows and fired several shots at close range. Four bullets entered Lennon's chest, of which three exited through the back. Police confirmed the weapon was a 38 caliber charter arms pistol. Lennon was still alive and conscious when they arrived on the scene, but was pronounced dead around 1130 Eastern time. At 115 this morning, a mortuary division vehicle left the Roosevelt Hospital with Lennon's body. Yoko returned to the residence where a crowd of about 400 people had already gathered around 72nd Street in Central Park West to hold a vigil and mourn the singer. We will bring you more news as it breaks. My heart cracks in two. I clutch my heart and cover my mouth to muffle my cries. I imagine being in Yoko's spirit. I understand the irreparable pain her entire being is suffering right now. That despairing feeling of being alone and lost, that horrible feeling of guilt and helplessness because someone took your lover's life, robbing you both of happiness. I cry for her. I cry for John Lennon and I cry for my Sam. I hope you enjoyed that reading.